It's nearly two decades since apartheid gave way to democracy in South Africa. But Desmond Tutu is now seriously worried about the path his country seems to be taking. He's become more outspoken in his criticism of the government and the Rainbow Nation, of which he was once so proud. Are you sort of disappointed with how things have gone since 1994? I have to be realistic, obviously, and things could have been a great deal worse. But I, I still have this uh, deep sense that they could have been a great deal better. I think we've let the people down. In, in, in so far as you have an elite that uh, has done very, very well for themselves, who have got quite, quite rich, and the bulk of the people are still where they were, or sometimes worse off, you know. Uh, sometimes worse off. I mean, we still have children learning under trees. Now, now that is quite unconscionable, really, to have people uh, going to bed hungry. I mean, our economy is not madly prosperous, but then it is also not uh, one of the worst. But we seem to have um, lost the plot to some extent. I mean, in the educational sphere, uh, we are about as bad as the old dispensation could have been. Uh, I mean, most recently we had one of our nine provinces uh, where children were devoid of uh, uh, textbooks, and the textbooks were ordered, they were found dumped somewhere. People were paid uh, for carrying out that particular um, assignment, uh, but paid for nothing. Kailisha Township, on the outskirts of Cape Town, was an apartheid-era squatter camp that still survives now in the new democracy. Desmond Tutu is the patron of Kailisha's Filani Nutrition Centre, which looks after mothers and children in desperate need and suffering from malnutrition. So where are we now, Desmond? This, this is their workshop. This is part of the liberation of our people. You know, because, as you know, I mean, you've seen examples already here. Poverty is something that actually almost destroys people. Mm. It can also, as it is doing just now, uh, be something that uh, is explosive. Bye-bye. <laughs> the coming of political freedom does not necessarily mean that you are going to have economic freedom. Yeah. But, you know, it's 18 years since our first democratic election. You would have hoped that by now, most of the ugly features of poverty would have been got rid of. We also have got to say that one of the wonderful things is, yes, in the midst of this particular wilderness, you can have an oasis such as this one. <laughs>